Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. You might be wondering what I'm doing with this old boat. Uh, I'm going to start a project. This boat's been sitting idle for nearly four years. And it's just been sitting here beside my shelter in the back of the property here. Doing nothing. We have a flat tire. The boat motor is in the shelter. I think it's a 4.5 horsepower Evinrude. I remember when I put this boat away, I bought another used boat that I used for the last three years and had lots of fun with. I have videos on that boat and motor fixes, and we used that for three years. So this one's been sitting idle, the motor's in there, and the motor was messed up bad when I put it away. It wouldn't run very well at all, it wouldn't idle. So I'm gonna get the boat out of here. We're gonna flip it over, see what we got to deal with. We're gonna get the motor out, and we'll get that running. This will probably be a two, three part series. And we're just gonna get this thing going because I wanna get out on the lake, do a little fishing now and then. I don't wanna really go out and buy a boat right now. And uh, we'll see if we can get everything cleaned up and get that other motor running and put this project together and see if we can go out there and catch ourselves a fish. Well, it looks like that tire is not going to hold any air. We're going to drag this thing out of here, pull that wheel off and get that tire fixed. We'll flip this boat over and see what we got to work with. So yeah, we definitely have a flat here, and I didn't want to go too far with that tire the way it is, so I don't want to mess up the tire. Here's the old boat. It's pretty old, and it's got old seats in it, and from what I remember, if I left the seats in it. But anyways, we'll flip it over, see what we got to work with. I know it works. It floats. There's no cracks in it, splits, no leaks, and... Uh, We'll flip it over and see if it's worth salvaging to keep on trying and uh, we'll put that get that motor fixed put it on and we'll just go out on the lake not too far from the boat launch and try our luck Alright, we got our wheel changed. We got a good wheel with air in it now. We can roll this trailer easily. Now I'm going to get that boat flipped over. I have to do everything myself so it takes time. But we'll get it flipped over and we'll drag it back up on this trailer and see what we got to deal with. Maybe there's some wasp nests in there. I don't know, but nothing's come out yet so we should be alright. Let's get this boat flipped.
we go. We got our boat flipped around and uh, on the trailer. And I don't know if you could tell, but we got a flat here again. The spare tire lost there. So we'll fix that issue. That's not a big deal. So there's what it looks like inside. Like this boat is from 40s or 50s for sure. Um, I rebuilt the boat tops here. Um, underneath these, it has foam. Underneath these seats, there's a foam. And uh, this is the one, this one here looks like it's rotted out pretty good. It came loose, but you know what? It has um, braces to sit on, the boards do. I still have a seat on there. I don't know what kind of condition it is in. As you can see under here at the front, there's foam there too. Um, there's actually another wooden seat. And you can see my uh, boat kit, my safety kit, my mirror and first aid kit and stuff. <laughs> we'll get rid of all that stuff. Get the right proper stuff in here. The transom is pretty good. Sturdy enough for the hold the light motor we're going to put on it. And we've got our boat plug still. We'll be plugging that hole. It's pretty clean inside. That's why I tipped it upside down years ago. Keep it clean. And it doesn't look like there's any wasps or anything. We'll lift the seat and have a look what kind of that's actually not bad. Not bad at all. That's doable. We'll just give it a dusting and it's good to go. So way deep back in this shelter is our Evan Rood. As you can see, it's just piled in here with everything. It's been sitting there for at least three years, maybe a little more. So we're going to pull that out of there and see what we can do. I'm sure it won't be a big deal. Probably just needs a carburetor cleaned and an adjustment and it should be good to go. So there it is. Doesn't look too bad. It's an old motor, but it ran really good. I mean, before it messed up, it was running really good. We can get it running good again. So there we go, we got it in the garage, and I'm not going to do anything to it right now. I have some other things I have to do, but on the next video, we'll dig into this motor, see what we got to do, fix it, and get it on the boat. So don't forget to come around for part two when we work on this motor. It'll be out soon. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. We have some really cool stuff coming up at the end of July, early August. You won't want to miss this. So have a great day. And we'll see you on the next one.